Hi everyone, so I just wanted to do a really quick review for you today. Um, it's on my very, very small collection of Blank Canvas Cosmetics brushes, makeup brushes. Now I know I only actually have four, um, but I just wanted to give you a quick review on what I have. Um, if you haven't heard of Blank Canvas Cosmetics, they are an Irish company, um, brush company, um, very similar to Sigma or um, Sedona Lace, Crown and um, Coastal Sense kind of thing. They also do all the makeup palettes and stuff like that. So they have a nice variety of brushes and I just wanted to show you exactly what I've got because so far I'm loving everything that I have got from them. Um, I'll start with my two most recent purchases. Um, now I've literally just washed them so they look kind of fluffy. <laughs> bad idea um, but I just don't want to be showing you them when they're kind of still covered in eyeshadow. This one here is the E24 and it is a uh, Pro Deluxe E24. It's like um, it's kind of like a cross between just an eyeshadow brush and a blending brush. Um, it dries out a lot thinner than that. I've just actually done a quick dry on it on my hand and um, it went super fluffy. Um, but yeah this is my favourite probably of the whole lot of them. Um, this brush is fantastic for just kind of applying on your eyeshadow and then I would like a few more of them for, for them blending it out. Um, fabulous, fabulous little brush. The quality of these brushes as well is phenomenal. Um, I could put it beside my crown which is also dirty. These are my dirty brushes. The quality of them are, are pretty amazing. Like I, I bought this one, this E24 originally i um, hoping it would be quite similar to my Sigma E25 like that, um, which is dirty, um, but it's even better than that. This one's slightly thicker and the Sigma one is slightly thicker. The quality of the handles and everything is very, very similar to Sigma. It's that same high gloss finish, that's the Sigma brush there on top. Same high gloss finish, very similar, um, little, oh, I can't think of the word, but you know that bit. Um, good sturdy strong brushes I'm really really impressed with them and um, so that's the E24 brush um, I absolutely love it I really really want to get some more of those and um, I then bought this one here this is the BCC Pro Deluxe E25 and it's like a small blending brush I had originally thought that it would be quite like my Sigma E40 which is that one there but as you can see it's a lot smaller but it's really, really perfect. This is actually too big now, I've decided after using this one. This one is just too big. It's great for like really, really blending, like really blending, but I think I might actually save it for more like highlighting and that kind of thing from now on now that I have this brush because this is a much more um, precise brush. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Again, it's just washed. That's what it looks a bit mad, but brilliant little brush. Um, the next one then is this uh, F23. Now to be fair, I got this in, um, it was in like a goodie bag thing um, that we got at the Christmas meetup. It's the E23 brush. Now to be fair, when I got it, I wasn't entirely sure what to do with it, but um, I've been using my, I don't know where it is, this um, contour brush from Real Techniques and I found that these were quite similar so that's kind of what I've been using it for um, my contouring and um, again it's a lovely little brush it's not my favorite of the brushes because it's quite stiff and um, I mean it's just been washed but it is quite a stiff little brush but it's still it's it's good I wouldn't knock it and then the fourth brush is is the F20 which is very very similar to again these are all dirty I'm so sorry it's it's brush wash day. It's actually overdue. It was supposed to be last night. But this is very similar to, I don't actually have the other one in front of me, but it's very similar to the Sigma F80 flat top kabuki. But this one's slightly more spread out than the, the Sigma one. But it's a fabulous foundation brush. Um, I've been using it quite a bit lately. and um, Kind of alternating between these two and a Sedona lace one that I just don't know where it is at the minute. But this is a very very good. I would rate these kind of these two brushes the same. Um, excellent for foundation. Um, so that's really it, guys. I just wanted to, in case you hadn't heard, I, and I know there's so many other Irish YouTubers and bloggers who support Blank Canvas Cosmetics, and I will be one of them now. And um, that I've tried a few. 
and I know that you probably have already heard of them but just in case you hadn't I thought I would just put that out there. They do ship internationally as well as far as I know so worth a try. They're an awful lot cheaper than the likes of Sigmund so and Lace especially for postage for us in Ireland so definitely definitely look them up. I've also heard of them being compared to MAC brushes so maybe um, do a search on YouTube for some links on the comparison to MAC brushes because hey if you can save yourself a few bob. I know these two are red 6 99 each which you know for makeup brushes that's not bad at all. Um, yeah so I just wanted to show you them guys. Um, I'll leave links to the store and everything below as well so if you want to have a look tip over and have a look. Loads of makeup on there as well if you want to have a look at that too. Um, so that's really it guys. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!